Alright, this video I want to notify the public about a book that I just purchased. It's called The Lost Warfare of India. Um, the author of this book is actually a big supporter of FMK. Um, he helped me get published into a magazine in the front cover. And, you know, he told me about the book that he authored, and I purchased it. It's from Amazon. I'll put the link to the description section in this video. You can check it out for yourself. The author's name is uh, Harit Singh Sagu. And then it's um, also Anthony Cummins, which I've seen some of his, his work on YouTube. Um, they both published this book together. Um, just quickly, overview in the back, it says spy classes and espionage, various battle formations, psychological warfare, fortification, and siege fighting, battlefield magic with help of gods and demons, ancient biological and chemical weapons, basic and advanced assassination tactics, traditional Hindu weapons and armor, uses of Indian chariots and elephants and cavalry and infantry. Um, I looked through some of these, what it had to say, and it's pretty interesting in some of these, you know, what it has to say. Um, here are some things right here. Just, Cunning is superior to strength. A weak leader should use espionage and covert death squads against his powerful enemy to compensate his lack of conventional power. A love potion should be substituted for poison. In the second situation, a maidservant is placed in the employment of another, and when she has gained trust, she administers poison instead of a love potion or medicine. And I think if you, I mean, right there is just interesting. That's exactly what I think happened to Bruce Lee. Um, that's how they killed him. And I'm just randomly picking quotes in here, and I just fell upon that one. Let me read that one again. A love potion should be sub substituted for poison. In the second situation, a maidservant is placed in the employment of another, and when she has gained trust, she administers poison instead of a love potion or medicine. Face reading is an ancient skill where a person's features would divine their future. The spy should give a false reading to benefit the situation. Spread rumors to force the enemy to do something they would not normally do so as to take advantage of it. And that's kind of what I feel what happened to me um, when I was on YouTube, you know, and then I got booted off. It's like spreading rumors, you know, people sending me messages to force me, the enemy, you know, the enemy to them to do something that they normally would not do so as to take advantage of it. So they're forcing me to get angry, you know, sending me messages to get me upset and then me responding with the video full of anger when I'm not even ang when I'm not even an angry person. And then they take advantage of that by um feeding off of that energy and building, you know, you know, getting me shut down. Bring people together under the guise of false orders from the enemy commander or lord. Then have them killed as if the enemy lord had killed them. The enemy should be demonized by making them appear villainous and bloodthirsty. Instill paranoia into the enemy king and stir trouble between them and their aides, advisors, and troops. I think that happened to me as well. This is interesting, you know. This is, this is just, it's crazy. Bribes should be given to the correct people. Choose those who will turn for a price and who have key positions or those who feel resentment towards their lord think that happened to me as well. It's interesting. When in a difficult situation, use wealth to secure aid and safety. The enemy of the enemy is a friend. The enemy of the enemy is a friend. Buy their friendship as well as pass on vital intelligence to them about the common enemy. Drink and food will be closely monitored. Therefore, gain trust with good wine and food. Then, at the right time, move to poison the enemy. So, 
They're talking about gaining the trust of somebody that you hate. You know, eating with them and, and all the other stuff. And then at the right time, you poison them. I mean, that is a, a very, very, you know, crazy tactic. You know, it's like having, like, you know, when the family's out there killing you. Just like what they talk about, what they show in uh, Godfather. You know, you know, the person's killed his own brother, you know, because he turned against the family. And the people that you trust, your family, your friends, those are the people are, that are in positions to really take away your life. You know, this, is, this book is talking about stuff like that. Become a trusted supplier to the enemy and poison them. Discreetly poison the foodstuffs of innocent traders, after which other spies can purchase those foodstuffs and then sell them on a, unaware, to unaware enemies. If you know the enemy will attack, have something to tempt them placed nearby so that their aim is changed. If a powerful enemy is in a position superior to yours, appease them with land and gifts that are either trouble to hold or easy to take back. You know, the enemy should be outnumbered and outgunned. A commander should not risk letting inferior troops lead the way. He must have his best men do what they do best. Okay, so keeping a spy's family as hostage will encourage their loyalty. Send out nuns and women who live religious lives to gather information. Destitute but beautiful and intelligent women should be used as spies. Assassination via poison is a suitable method for heartless persons. Keep an accurate record of the origin, history, and current location of vehicles. Master the following three, they are in order of importance. Skill of intrigue, power, enthusiasm. Women are trouble, and peace made with children as hostage, hostages in the case of giving a princess or a prince as a, ho a hostage. Whoever gives a princess gains advantages. For a princess, when taken as a hostage, causes troubles to the receiver, while a prince is of reverse nature. <laughs> Quick lesson, if hostages must be given, give one that can be lost. If it is likely that the feet will come, secure your position under a powerful overlord and serve them well. Pick your friends. One shall make an alliance with a king who is stronger than one's neighboring enemy. In the absence of such a king, one should ingratitate him oneself of one's neighboring enemy, either by supplying money or army or by ceding a part of one's territory and by keeping oneself aloof. For there can be no greater evil to kings than alliance with a king of considerable power unless one is actually attacked by one's enemy. If there is an enemy close by, choose a more powerful ally or sue for peace. If war does not give enough prospects for profit, 
then remain at peace, for war is costly. A spy should turn son against father by misinforming them and tempting them with a position of power that they have a right to. However, the son will not achieve what he desires as he too will be demonized and then eliminated. Poison an enemy through making a connection with their family. Bring the target close, embroil them in a sex scandal, and have rid of them. A leader should crush an enemy who is suffering hardships because they will be at their weakest. Victory will be swift. Spreading suspicion and disunity amongst, among an enemy is advantageous, especially when the enemy starts killing their own. That gets me to think about black on black crime. Drink and food will be closely monitored, therefore gain trust with good f wine and food, then at the right time move in to poison the enemy. Sun Tzu states, he will win who knows when to fight and when not to fight. So, it's end at that. There's a lot of military tactics, secrets, and, you know, it's just very relevant, extremely relevant to the martial arts. And this is just, like, talking about the real arts, you know, that's employed. Um, for victory, 
you know, the book shows weapons in the front. It's talking about warfare. It's talking about taking out an enemy. And this is the things that, you know, mafias do, the military, maybe even gangs, people that are involved in real street survival, um, you know, police officers, people that have concealed carry, martial artists, you know, people that are mainly interested in tactics for real life situations. Um, this is what the book is for. Um, I think it's a nice book. You know, it, you know, it's a lot of information in here. Um, I think it's it's kind of like a similar to like a like a. It it, it reminds me like the of the Indian, the India's version of the art of war. That's what it reminds me of. Sun Tzu is known for the art of war, and it's a very popular text that everybody mentions all the time. And then this right here reminds me of that text, and it it might be even. You know, it's just interesting. You know, it's pretty easy to understand. And um, there's a lot of ideas and principles that you could apply to modern day, you know, and also just running a business. I, I, I just read a lot of things that are relevant to running a martial arts school um, and even having friends. And, you know, you, you're always going to be de dealing with people with jealousy and envy and, you know, sometimes your enemies are the people that are closest to you and it's a sad thing to say but that's the reality you know people that are in your own family and some of the your your best friends and some some people that that you work with you know or people that are your students i mean sometimes um there's negative energy uh, within people that are around you you need to identify this because a lot of, you know, the, the most difficult thing in warfare is, is identifying the person who's coming at you with open arms and a smile, but then inside they want to kill you, or they want to get rid of you, or they want to destroy you, or destroy your reputation, um, steal what you have. I mean, the, this is the type of book that gets you, you know, consciously aware and prepared for that and it's basically political like politics you know like the enemy that comes at you with a smile I mean if you look at it we just had the presidential election you know that the Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump that's like modern war you know they are not for each other's interests and they will employ tactics to destroy that enemy you know the republic the republican wants to destroy the democrat the democrat wants to destroy the republican and they're not doing it physically you know but they're doing it psychologically and they're they're using tactics to to damage each other's reputation you know they're attacking Donald Trump with the the you know the tapes about him talking about women and then then you know then there's then he brings up situations with Bill Clinton you know, having the sex scandals, and then, you know, with Hillary Clinton, and then the the emails that she erased. You know what I mean? Like, you see it with Michael Jackson and him being famous and rich, and all of a sudden, you know, he's involved in a sex scandal. You know, child, you know, child abuse. You see Michael Jordan. They 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 bring down his fame with talking about his gambling and and infidelity. You know. Um, Martin Luther King, they talk about his his extramarital affairs, you know, like they're always trying to find a way to bring down somebody in power. So when you're in, in power, you're going to have to face this. There's going to be people after you that will come after you. They, they may try to poison you, which is a way of killing you. Um, silently, discreetly, without making a big deal, they're trying to make it seem like it's an accident or it's a natural death. You know, they even talked about Easy E potentially them injecting him with the AIDS virus or the HIV virus to kill him. You know, so rather than shooting and killing him to make it so obvious, like how they killed Martin Luther King Jr., and Malcolm X, and Tupac. They may inject somebody with 
with the disease, you know. Or they said Osho, one of the books was saying how they locked him in a prison, prison cell, and then they had him laying down in a bed full of radiation. So then the radiation would, would poison his body and then kill him over time. You know, and like somebody else made a video talking about how Bruce Lee could have potentially been uh, poisoned with arsenic. You know, like there's so many different ways that you could kill somebody without using the gun. You kill them more discreetly. You know, you, you, you might find a celebrity and then they want to kill them so then they might have a doctor you know, prescribe them with something that's lethal, like a lethal mixture of certain drugs that will end up killing them. You know, that's kind of how, that, that, that I think his name's Heath Ledger, the person who played Joker. He died from, I think, some type of medication, you know, because he was taking medication for depression or insomnia or whatever. But when you mix in medications, you could kill somebody. And then they can make it seem like it's an accident. You know, and it's like, as people, as these world leaders become more intelligent, they are learning more intelligent ways to kill people that are influential. To make it seem like it's an accident when it's not. You know, even Brandon Lee, Bruce Lee's son, you know, they say, oh, it's an accident. You know, he was like, you know, starring in a movie and then there's accidental fire with the real gun so then now nobody gets prosecuted it's just an accident you know or um, this is the, the new way of people in power staying in power taking out the people around them that might serve to be a threat to take away their power you know and um, I see that going on, you know, and this this is talking about that specifically. A lot of times, they're using women to kill off influential men out there, you know. Um, you see, you even see somebody like Tiger Woods getting involved with many women, sleeping with many women, and his his reputation and his career has always been damaged and suffering ever since that ha that that happened that he's been caught or whatever the case may be. It's always a lot of times you see people in power um, they use women to go after them to take away this power. Even Tupac they found a way to get him in jail to put him in jail because they, they accuse him of of sex abuse or you know of forcibly grabbing the buttocks of a woman or whatever the case may be. Um, these are ways of employing tactics to get rid of people that serve to be a threat, you know, but this book is, you know, a good book, you know, I recommend it, um, something that you look into, uh, like I said, check it up on Amazon, The Lost Warfare of India.